Hello everyone, welcome to Homework Help. If you find the videos useful, please subscribe to the channel. So in this video, we'll find the domain and range for these two graphs. Now domain is the set of all possible x values for a relation or function and range is the set of all possible y values for a relation or function. So for domain, we will analyze the graph along the x-axis and for range, we'll analyze the graph along the y-axis. So let's start with the graph on the left side. Now this graph is made up of two horizontal lines. Now they are separate from each other, but the domain that we'll write won't be for these lines individually. We'll write it for the whole graph. That is for those two lines together. Now domain is for x values. So we'll analyze the graph from the left side to the right side. So the first horizontal line starts at negative 5 on the left side, but negative 5 is not part of the domain because of this empty dot or this empty circle at negative 5. And then the horizontal line continues all the way to positive 5. Positive 5 lies on this horizontal line because of this filled dot or filled circle at the end. At that point, the first line ends and then there is a gap below and the second line starts at 5 but 5 does not lie on the second line because of this empty dot or empty circle but 5 is part of the domain because 5 lies on the first line the top line so there is no gap in this graph so far up to 5 so then from 5 the second horizontal line continues all the way to 11 this point here where the second line ends corresponds to 11 on the x-axis and this point lies on the second line because of this fill dot or the fill circle. So now we can write the domain in the interval notation. So we start at negative 5 but negative 5 is not part of the domain so we use the parentheses so negative 5 and there is no gap in the graph along the x-axis and the domain stops at 11 and 11 is part of the domain because of this fill dot so we use the square brackets for 11 so this is the domain of this given graph in interval notation now in inequality notation we'll write the domain as so x is greater than negative 5 because domain is for x values and less than or equal to 11. So now we are done with the domain. So now let's write the range. So for range, we'll have to analyze the behavior of the graph along the y-axis. Now this graph is made up of two horizontal lines. For the first horizontal line from below, all points on this horizontal line have y value equal to 2. So if I extend this line here, so the scale on the y-axis is that one square is equal to 2.5 units. So in these kind of questions, it's very important to analyze the scale very carefully. Y value is just below 2.5, so we can assume it to be 2. So that means the range for this horizontal line is just 2. Similarly, for this horizontal line, so this is just above 5 and then the upper mark is 7.5. So it looks like all points on this line, the higher line, have a y-coordinate equal to 6. So in this case, the range are two exact values. So we'll write them as so the ranges. So we'll start with the smaller number, which is 2 and then comma 6 and then we'll close the braces so this is the range for this graph now if we have to write it in the inequality notation x equals uh, 2 comma 6 so now we can analyze the second graph now the second graph is given to us in the form of a circle and the circle is centered at 0 because the extreme left of the circle crosses the x-axis at negative 6. So here uh, on the x-axis, each square is 2 units. So this point is negative 6. 
and then the other point is positive 6. So the middle of these two points will be 0. So that's where the center of the circle is. Similarly, along the y axis, the highest point at which the circle touches the y axis is 6, and the lowest point is negative 6. So let's start with the domain. As we know, the domain is for x values. Now, all points on this circle lie between negative 6 and 6 along the x axis. The graph doesn't go beyond negative 6 and 6. But negative 6 and 6 are part of the domain because the circle touches these points on the x axis. So that's why the domain in interval notation will be so negative 6, comma, 6. So we use the square brackets because negative 6 and 6 are part of the domain. And in the inequality notation, we'll write it as so x is greater than or equal to negative 6 and less than or equal to 6. So this is the domain of this circle. So now we can write the range. So for range, we'll have to analyze the graph along the y-axis. So we can see that along the y-axis, the graph doesn't go below negative 6, so that's the lower limit, and it doesn't go above positive 6, which is the higher limit. So the range in the interval notation will be negative 6, our 6. So it's the same as domain. Now in the inequality notation, so the range can be written as so negative 6 is less than or equal to y and less than or equal to 6. And sorry, here for this range, I should have used y, not x. So the range is always for y values. So I hope you'll find this video useful. Please share it, like it, and subscribe to Homework Help. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.